Leisure and marine batteries are known as deep cycle types. They provide long-term energy delivery and are capable of a much greater number of deeper discharge cycles when compared to automotive starter batteries. Leisure batteries are designed to support electrical consumers such as caravan and motorhome lighting and accessories, whilst marine batteries support engine starting, navigation, communication and other auxiliary equipment. There is a misconception that leisure and marine batteries are fit and forget products. However, this is not the case. Both leisure and marine batteries are predominantly in use during the warmer summer months and are left in storage throughout the winter. If the battery is in regular use or long-term storage, it must be checked and charged as required to prevent service or storage related damage. If not maintained, its condition will permanently deteriorate until it can no longer supply the required performance. It has not failed because of any manufactured or material defect, but due to the lack of care and maintenance. As we have already learnt, batteries that have been in service for some time will have experienced some natural deterioration. This deterioration will mean that when compared to a new battery, more frequent recharging will be required. It is important to specify the correct battery technology and performance rating to ensure maximum possible service life. To select the best option, many factors must be taken into consideration. These include available installation space, on or off grid usage, electrical power demands, frequency of use and holiday duration. The maximum physical size of the battery will usually be dictated by the tray size. When connected to an on-grid power supply at a campsite, there is little or no load on the battery. However, when operating off-grid with no external power supply, the battery supports all electrical loads. The more electrical consumers that are in use, the greater the demand on the battery and the faster it discharges. It is advisable that the battery capacity required is accurately calculated considering the appliances on board, their hourly power consumption and how long each appliance is likely to be used. As an example of this, a TV rated at 80 watts on for 2 hours takes 80 times 2 or 160 watt hours. 4 lamps rated at 20 watts for 4 hours takes 4 times 20 times 4 or 320 watt hours. A water pump rated at 50 watts for half an hour takes 0.5 times 50 or 25 watt hours. A mobile device charging rated at 25 watts for three hours takes three times 25 or 75 watt hours. This gives a total of 580 watt hours. It is then advisable to factor in a 20% safety margin as the figures used for capacity calculation can go up or down. Total battery requirement is therefore 696 watt hours. The required battery capacity will also be dramatically affected if using a motor mover or auto levelling system. These consume large amounts of power over a very short time. All GS and UASA leisure batteries feature a watt hour rating and guidance on usage type on their label. A leisure battery has a finite number of available cycles. Each time it is cycled its service life is reduced. Therefore, users who take frequent breaks will require a battery with more available cycles than a user that goes away infrequently. All UASA and GS leisure batteries feature a cyclic rating which indicates how many charge and discharge cycles the battery is capable of to 50% depth of discharge. GS and UASA batteries are part of the NCC Verified Battery Scheme. The scheme ensures caravan and motorhome users can easily identify which batteries on the market are quoting accurate, verified specifications and which aren't. NCC verification provides consumers with confidence that their battery is fit for purpose and will perform as advertised. NCC verified batteries have undergone comprehensive testing conducted by suitably certified and audited test houses. Once verified, they are categorised as A, B or C, depending on capacity and intended purpose. All verified batteries carry clear NCC labelling. The UASA Active range is tiered, with different levels of performance and cyclic life available. Battery technology must therefore be considered when selecting, maintaining and charging the battery. All batteries are maintenance free and do not require topping up when in normal service. Conventional type batteries offer standard performance levels and are invented and must be installed with a breather pipe in occupied spaces. EFB and AGM batteries are upgrade options. They provide greater endurance, more available cycles and faster charging. 
EFB batteries feature a rollover proof lid and must also be installed with a breather pipe. AGM batteries offer the maximum number of cycles. AGM features a spill proof internal construction with no free acid and can be installed in occupied spaces with natural ventilation. GS and US at deep cycle commercial vehicle batteries are also ideal for dual power applications where starting and overall energy supply is required, such as large watercraft, canal boats and horse boxes. They provide very high watt hour ratings and excellent resistance to vibration. GS Marine and US Marine start and dual battery types feature a marine cranking amps rating. Unlike CCA, which is tested at minus 18 degrees C, MCA is determined at zero degrees C, as this is more relevant for marine applications. Marine batteries benefit from a dual terminal design to allow simultaneous connection of auxiliary and starter cables. Unlike vehicle batteries, which generally travel on smooth roads, marine batteries must be able to resist repeated vibration from wave impact and trailer transport. To prevent damage, they are built to provide a higher level of vibration resistance. Once fully commissioned, a battery continuously releases electrical energy and self-discharges. When disconnected and at 10 degrees C, this can be up to 0.1 volts per month. This self-discharge rate doubles with every 10 degrees C temperature rise. When in service or left connected to the vehicle, the demands of any permanent electrical consumers such as alarm systems increase this discharge rate significantly. If the battery falls to 12.4 volts or below for extended time periods or is deeply discharged, irreversible damage will occur. Two common scenarios are failure to maintain the battery when in storage and failure to check and charge the battery before and after each use. Many newer caravans and motorhomes feature an intelligent charging facility when in use. Users should consult their handbooks for more details. GS UASA advised that a suitable charger, compatible with the battery's technology, is connected when the vehicle is not used for extended periods of time. GS UASA smart chargers operate on or off the vehicle and will maintain the battery in an optimum condition. With AGM batteries, always ensure you use a charger compatible with this type of technology. Failure to do so will result in permanent damage and premature failure. If removing the battery, fully charge it prior to storage. Check its voltage is more than 12.4 every month and charge as required. Recharge every three months regardless of the voltage to refresh and mix the electrolyte solution. If leaving the battery on the vehicle, connect a smart charger featuring a pulse mode. This will maintain the battery at 95 to 100% capacity by monitoring voltage and applying a pulse charge when required.